Cygnus CRS 08E, also known as Orbital ATK CRS 8E, was the ninth flight of the Orbital ATK unmanned resupply spacecraft Cygnus and its eighth flight to the International Space Station under the Commercial Resupply Services contract with NASA. The mission launched on November 12, 2017 at 7.19 am. Orbital and NASA jointly developed a new space transportation system to provide commercial cargo resupply services to the International Space Station Under the Commercial Orbital Transportation System program, then Orbital Sciences designed and built Antares, a medium-class launch vehicle, Cygnus, an advanced maneuvering spacecraft, and a pressurized cargo module which is provided by Orbital's industrial partner Thales Alenia Space. History The COTS demonstration mission was successfully conducted in September 2013, and Orbital commenced operational ISS cargo missions under the Commercial Resupply Service program with two missions in 2014. Regrettably, the third operational mission, CRS Orb 3, was not successful due to spectacular Antares failure during launch. The company decided to discontinue the Antares 100 series and accelerate the introduction of a new propulsion system. The Antares system has been upgraded with newly built Rode 181 first stage engines to provide greater payload performance and increased reliability. In the meantime, the company had contracted with United Launch Alliance for an Atlas V launch of CRS OA 4 in late 2015 from Cape Canaveral, FL, and with a second Atlas V Cygnus launch in 2016. The company had planned Cygnus missions for the first CRS 5 second CRS 6 and fourth quarters CRS 7 of 2016. Two of these flew on the new Antares 230 and one on the aforementioned second Atlas V. These three missions enabled Orbital ATK to cover their initial CRS contracted payload obligation. This particular mission, is known as OA-8E, is part of an extension program that will enable NASA to cover the ISS resupply needs until the Commercial Resupply Services II contract enters in effect. It is called OA-8E rather than OA-8, because the switch to a mix of Atlas V and the more powerful Antares 230 enabled the company to cover its original contract with just seven flights, even counting the Orb 3 failure, and thus the E indicates that it actually is an extension above the originally contracted payload transport. Production and integration of Cygnus spacecraft is performed in Dulles, Virginia. The Cygnus service module is mated with the pressurized cargo module at the launch site, and mission operations are conducted from control centers in Dulles and Houston. The launch was previously scheduled for November 10 at 8.03 a.m. before being moved to November 11 at 7 hours 37 minutes and 24 seconds a.m. The November 11 launch attempt resulted in a 24 hour recycle due to a plane flying into the restricted area with less than a minute into the count. The Antares rocket launched the 8th Cygnus cargo vehicle on Sunday, November 12 at 7 hours 19 minutes and 51 seconds a.m. Spacecraft <laughs> 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 This was the eighth of ten flights by Orbital ATK under the Commercial Resupply Services contract with NASA, and is considered an extension over the originally contracted flights. This was the fifth flight of the enhanced sized Cygnus PCM. In an Orbital ATK tradition, this Cygnus spacecraft was named the SS Gene Kernan after one of NASA's Apollo astronauts, Apollo 17 Commander Eugene Kernan, the last man as of 2017 to walk on the Moon and one of only three humans to visit the Moon in orbit or on the surface twice. Topic. Manifest Total cargo mass, 3,338 kg 7,359 pounds Pressured cargo with packaging, 3,229 kg 7,119 pounds Crew supplies, 1,240 kg 2,734 pounds 
Science Investigations, 740 kg £1 Spacewalk Equipment, 132 kg £291 Vehicle Hardware, 851 kg £1 Computer Resources, 34 kg £75 Unpressurized cargo, 109 kilograms, 240 pounds. <laughs>